Hi, welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a video from one of our Vault experts, Lee Dodds, about getting previous versions in Vault. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lee Dodds from Symmetry and today I'm going to show you how to get a previous version of a file from Autodesk Vault. Um, first of all, I'm going to select a file. So you can see the BBS Alloy wheel here has three previous versions. Um, if we just open the file, without checking it out, we'll see that version 3 is the current version of the file. Let's just close that down. So what we want is we want to get version 2 of that file and make it the current copy. First of all, what we need to do is right click on the file and say get checkout. This brings up the checkout dialog box and you can see here um, that the download count is going to be 5 but the checkout count is going to be zero. That's what we want. We don't want to check the file out. We just want to download the copies. Okay, that. It will say that we have a newer version of the file um, in our file store. Do we want to overwrite that? Yes, we do. Okay, now that we've downloaded that, you'll see that um, we have a marker next to the assembly that says that we have an incorrect version in our workspace. This is what we want. So now we need to fool Vault into thinking that the version in our workspace is the correct version. Um, let's just make sure that that is the correct version. So if we go file open, open from our workspace, you can see we currently have version 2, which is correct. Let's close that down. Now what we need to do is we need to right click on the, on the part, choose get checkout again. But this time we don't want to download the files, but we do want to check them out. So if we hit check out, that will knock the checkup counter to five. Expand the options and down here you have an option to choose where the files want to be downloaded to. If we just drop down there and we can select none. You can see the counter at the bottom is now changed to download count, download count none and check out count five. That's correct. Okay, that. Now what we have is we have the file checked out, um, um, but we still have an incorrect version according to the vault. So what we can do now is go back to Inventor, open up the part from our local workspace, select the vault tab from the browser, and then right click and check in. Now if you go to the vault, give that a refresh, the vault's happy and the current version of the file is now version 4, which is a copy of version 2. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back to the YouTube channel for more videos on your Autodesk products. Thanks. Bye.